Hello, Lunars, and welcome back to another Mighty Quest video with me, your host, Sir Anderson, self-proclaimed king of loot, lover of meaningless titles, and clucker in chief. And today's a very exciting day because now I have a little bit of a preview for you of what's coming up in our next epic pass. What gear will we get? What rewards are on the way? Well, boy, do we have a video for you. So first, let's kick it off. Let's talk about the two previews we got today for our new set, which is coming out with our new uh, Christmas Epic Pass. And uh, we'll have a little look at that right now. First, let's start off with our new Epic Weapon, the last gift of Santa. As you can see here, 43,000 might at four stars, DPS, two DPS ruins, which is of course is good. Critical damage by 10%, not the best, not the worst, but whatever. Now, let's talk about the ability. Christmas cheer, Explosive Bloom has a chance to be cast for free on the last hit of a combo. That sucks. Boo, who wants that? Explosive Bloom is trash. Well, maybe. In conjunction with what else we're getting, let's throw that up on the screen right now here. How about Santa's Hangover? Great name, Ubisoft. I absolutely love it. Santa's Hangover, our new epic set helmet. Now, let's zoom in down here on the abilities. A very bloomy Christmas and let it snow. First, the two-piece, let it snow. Explosive bloom now comes with additional projectiles that are thrown in circles. Now, the interesting thing right now about explosive bloom is that the DPS on explosive bloom, the overall damage is more than meteor. That is insane. The damage on Explosive Bloom is more than Meteor. Think about that for a second, right? Crazy. That's a crazy amount of damage. I took some notes here earlier. I was doing a little bit of science on this. Um, as well. Now, you got to think about this, too. Well, let's, no, let's go over the five piece first. Okay, so a very bloomy Christmas. Explosive Bloom's bomb automatically follows the nearest enemy and detonates when in contact with them. Okay, that seems pretty cool. Pretty useless, I think, overall in your adventure castles. Maybe good for a boss or a guild boss, perhaps? Think of if you could focus down an explosive bloom, which does more damage than Meteor, onto a single target. Arena 2 could be very, very useful, especially with the additional projectiles. Now, will it be good overall? Because think about what you have to equip to get this to work. You need the full Santa set and possibly the weapon if you wanna get that free cast. You get the free cast in there, you get the full set, then you don't have to equip Explosive Bloom, you get a chance at casting it. Um, let's remove the chance altogether and say you just use a Primal Storm or something, right? And then you can automatically trigger it from here on out. We aren't gonna debate chances because that's not what we're here about, or what we're about here. We're about consistency. So. I say you trigger it, you send it off, it does damage to a guild boss or, you know, like maybe a blobby bobby, whatever. Um, does a bunch of damage, you're in the clear. That works out great. But what do you have to do to get that? Well, you gotta have five pieces of Santa's hangover. And is that going to be good enough? Probably not. Probably not. Um, now, let's say we get a very ideal situation, like this week where we have uh, on the guild boss, where water is the weakness. This might be a very good set to apply then. You know what I mean? If you have a five set uh, or every piece of gear you wear, it gives you a 5% bonus to the boss, and then you get the target down and explosive bloom on that boss, that's very good. Very, very good. That's gonna deal a lot of damage. And I think it will be used in that situation. Where this thing falls short, is that there are no matching skills to go with it. So I don't think even in the best possible situation that your explosive bloom will do as much as say a landslide with slow slayer attached or venom splash with poison slayer attached. That's just the bottom line on that one. Because those two skills match up with the two talents that take those abilities over the top. 100% damage boost on top of that. I don't know how much or if the base DPS on Explosive Bloom is enough. Now where I do see this being a little bit more useful, think about this. Let's pair up a two-piece Santa set with Druid set. Now, Druid set um, allows you to cast um, the snaring brambles on Explosive Bloom. That's with a two-piece. So you get your snaring brambles, 
you get the two-piece explosive bloom now deals eight additional projectiles thrown in circles, and you might have something cooking. Now, I did a little video here, you're gonna see some gameplay of that, where I was just going in and testing out, because I had to refresh my memory of what Druid Set actually did with Explosive Bloom, and it turns out those snaring brambles deal DPS. Oh yeah, pretty impressive. So not only will you have your Explosive Bloom, it'll trigger on the ground, right, one area, you'll have your snaring brambles going up and possibly snaring, but most likely killing things, and then you'll have eight projectiles coming off Explosive Bloom dealing even more damage. This could be very powerful paired together. I don't know how good the five piece will be because even let's put this back to a guild boss situation. The guild boss is standing still, at least for right now. There's no need to track it. You know what I mean? You could just throw down an explosive bloom right on top of it. You have your snaring brambles with druid set and you have your um, eight additional projectiles now you're also matching up a water and grass set there so how useful that's going to be trying to match up the maximum pound amount of weakness to that guild boss i don't know but could be useful could be useful in arena as well apply those same things i just talked about to arena could be good anyway um i think ideally that's what you're going to want to do druid set santa set and then maybe your choice of a boring helm or a grim grimoire on the offside do a lot of damage with that i would think so that's that, let's move on. Next, let's talk a little bit about what we got going on with Trophy Road. <laughs> this is the new Epic Pass. I'll throw uh, the rewards up on the screen. Now, as you can see here, you only get rewards up to level 15 if you wanna do this for free. I don't like that. I mean, at least you get them all done and then you can say you're done with it if you're a free-to-play player. I mean, at the bare minimum, you get 150,000 gold, 100 rare keys, you get the pants and the chest, which is good because the two-piece is what you really want here for the Santa set. And at least they give you the chest and the pants and not like, say, the gloves and the hat. That would be, that would look so dumb. But uh, yeah, you get the set, the chest and the pants. At least you'll look good with your two-piece Santa set if you're going free-to-play. Um, you get your portrait, you get your a little bit of armor, some keys, gold, uh, weapon upgrade tokens, uh, the stones upgrade stones promote stones a little bit of energy whatever you don't get the weapon you have to pay for that um so yeah i mean the rewards look pretty good you're it's gonna be a shorter season um i'm sure it'll be pretty easy to unlock no season so far has been incredibly difficult to do um am i looking forward to the new content yeah yeah i am it'll be interesting to see um how this stuff plays out it could be very useful very very useful but like i said uh keep it tuned right here Subscribe, like, leave a comment below, you know, before you go. Uh, hit the bell for notifications because I will be testing all this stuff. I'm probably going to buy it. Let's be fair. Uh, I want to do this. I, you know, it's been a while since I did an Epic Pass and, uh, or a, a Season Pass, whatever, Mighty Quest. I never did Season 2. So I'm looking forward to this one quite a bit. And uh, if you want to see more videos about this stuff, make sure you keep it tuned right here. Anyway, that's it for today, folks. I am Sir Randerson, self-proclaimed king of loot, lover of meaningless titles, and clucker-in-chief, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.